graduated from high school in 1962, went, uh, went to work for the Ford Garage as a line mechanic and uh, for three years, and I got a call from the raft board lady and said, uh, you're going to be getting some mail just to give you something to think about. And I said, if I get it, can I open it? And she said, well, you can, but you better sign up for something really, really fast. And so I did, and it was a, it was a Marine Corps draft notice, and I had a brother in the Navy, so I enlisted in the Navy. I enlisted in the Navy July 6th, uh, 1965, and, and I was prompted uh, to do that because I got a draft notice. I guess to start at the beginning, I would need to say I went to boot camp in San Diego, went to uh, electrician made DMA school in San Diego. I was a little shocked with boot camp. We, we got there at uh, 3 a.m. and slept for an hour. Got us up and uh, I was a mechanic for three years at the Ford Garage. They asked if there was anybody who was mechanically inclined. I kept my hand down. I did not raise it. The guy beside me did, so he got to run a stapler, stapling under his own blankets. <laughs> and, and they were a little more crude to us than I was ready for. We had a good company commander. I grew up in the Navy. And particularly in boot camp, there was an element. There was just a, we went to classes, a lot of classes. We, went to first aid and where we learned about CPR and about how if a person has a heart attack you can you can 12 breaths of air a minute and I'm sitting there and I kind of went back into the zone again thinking about my dad that if I'd only known that I could have helped class was dismissed, was dismissed, the doctor came over and he said, are you okay? I'm just like an algebra. I'm sitting here thinking what I could have done. He said, in 1958, when your dad passed, he said, uh, CPR was for drowning. Turn the head and yeah. you pumped their arms, you pushed on their lungs. He said, this is new stuff. And I felt felt a tongue come off my shoulders. And I was a, in spite of being a short person, I was a squad leader. And so my squad was waiting for me. And so that is probably the most outstanding thing that happened to me in boot camp, is, is to find out that uh,